Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Empire Spiders. I hope you guys are having a good day. And today, I'm not sure if I posted a video or did a little clip on this. I actually, um, we had a big storm a couple weeks ago. And I already had a talk to, or I already messaged Ant Australia about what the species was. He told me the species. Um, I'm not even going to bother pronouncing the scientific name. So it's just, of course, on the screen. Now, I'm going to give you a quick update on how they're going because I think they're doing extremely well because they have their first babies. And we are going to be doing something. We're going to be popping holes in the tops of these lids. Now these, this one's okay. And the big container, that's what I'm circling right now, that big container, I'm going to put sewer at the bottom. And at some point when their things, when their colony gets too big for these enclosures, we're going to put them in there. And as you can see, there are piles and piles of eggs. You can see a ton of queens there, a couple of queens in that chamber, queens in that chamber there, queens chamber there, chamber there, and a couple chambers over here. But if we also put this down, there's a couple of ants in that cricket there. There's also chambers on the side here with two queens in there. So in here, I think a couple of the queens have died, of course. Okay, I thought there was eggs under there too, but they're apparently not. I counted before. I think there's still about 15 queens in here, just all throughout it. In here, I counted a couple. I think we've still got all the queens in here. Uh, actually, one was dead. I did see that. But in this and one in here, we still have stacks upon stacks of eggs. Um, and a lot of queens, and we do have a ton of ants in there now too. So... What's really going to confuse me around here is because some of the ants are actually exploring that shelf there, is going up this wall here, there are the same, exact same species of ant. Now they're not coming from mine. They are, um, what would you say? Wild, the, the ones in there are wild, but they still, you know, they're my ants. These ones are not, so we're gonna put them when they get big enough in there because they're growing extremely quickly also in here we actually have a new spider as well hang on look at that yeah um new spider i i am going to be releasing a video on this girl uh, very soon because she got out the other day and I want to do a video on her. Okay, good. Because um, I left the lid open. She got up here. As you can see, there's still a strand of web going down from there. Stop that. Oh well, so also I didn't record it because my phone is practically dead, but gone she got out I'm joking she didn't I put her over here in here I put her in here she's right there Um, we we'll rehoused her in there because I thought she needed me more space. And forget about the huntsmans. The huntsmans have um, all four huntsmans that I had for the breeding project have all sadly um, had heat stroke. I put them all on the table here, and as you can see, there is thing here. The sun goes down along there, so. The sun shoots through here and I had all the huntsman containers on the table here and they the door was open for a day straight so they got freaking roasted I am it wasn't even me that put them there I had them on the table or something over here and they were actually moved by my granddad or something onto the table because he was doing something so and he left the door open all day long and he didn't know that they would have heat stroke that's actually if you've got 
animals in a shed or something. It's a number one thing. Like, just a tin shed like this. Number one thing that will cause them to die is actually going to be heat stroke. So that's one thing you've got to actually try to keep under control is the heat stroke. Uh, got to be careful about that because heat stroke is actually a very serious thing. So I need the tarantula license. I'll do that this week. Um, I actually think it's an animal license and I'll also be getting at some point a big new enclosure. It's going to go here and I'm going to get two lace monitors um, because I can do that with my new license. So, oh shit, my boys, it's stuffed again. Ah, oh, god damn it. So, um, yeah, I've got one, two, three, four, five. That's the new spider, by the way. Um, six spiders left. I'm really sad about this shit because, um, all four huntsmen's my best feeders for my videos to, to, um, have all died. So, um, oh yeah, and, uh, quick update on Floja's Prospine here. She has molted and she is eating right now. I would have done it on video, but she never leaves that. And this is what the ants are after, obviously, so I'm going to put them over here, away from my spiders. Two of the huntsmen were actually killed by the ants, as well as the scorpions, so... Stuff them now. Stuff these ants. I am going to be putting, probably, a ant poison here and I'm going to move all my spiders home for a month and then let the ants die probably take those ants home as well so a little update on me and the um and the collection hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video because why not uh next video I'm not sure it'll be me taking down this um the spider so yeah, see you on the next one. Adios.